uh, there's a rabbi who's quite well respected among the Jews. And remember, they're not born again. They're not necessarily operating in the same anointing that we are. But I think that God has mercy on the Jews, and they listen to their own prophets. They're not going to listen to us. They're not going to listen to me if I prophesy something, right? But if one of their own prophesies something, maybe they would perk up and listen. So I want to remind you that when asked the timing of the Messiah's arrival, Rabbi Knivsky answered, at the end of the sabbatical year. Now, the end of the sabbatical year is tomorrow. And he thought that the Messiah would arrive at the end of the sabbatical year. What does that mean? Well, the end of the Shemitah or the sabbatical year is tomorrow, Elul 29. The year 5775 will end tomorrow. And at uh, sunset begins a new day. The Jews start the day at evening to morning. Because why? Why, church? We always go from morning to night, but the Jews don't. The Jews always go from night to morning. In the book of Genesis, and the evening and the morning was the first day, and the evening and the morning was the second day, and the evening and the morning is the third day. Why? Because in Christ Jesus, we always move from darkness to light. Outside of Christ, you always move from light to darkness. So the whole Gentile calendar is moving them into darkness. The Jewish calendar moves us into light. See, it always has meaning that points to Jesus Christ. Everything points to Jesus. So tomorrow at sunset will be the start of the Jubilee year. Now, people argue about, you know, the Jewish count and all that. Okay, I'm not going to argue about that. I don't know. I don't know who's counting right or wrong. But the official count right now is that tomorrow at sunset starts the Jubilee year. I'd get a menorah. I'd light a few candles. I'd celebrate Jesus. I'd have communion at home. I'd be praying in tongues tomorrow. Uh, if the rapture happens and you weren't praying in tongues and praying in tongues was the qualification, you're going to be very sorry, okay? <laughs> so I'm not sure what the qualification is. Only Jesus knows. So I don't pray in tongues. Well, you can start today, okay? You can start right now. So tomorrow will be the start of the Jubilee. And uh, after that will be the year 5777. And so 5777 is a very perfect number. In fact, it's been called by the Jews the year of perfection. And that coincides with my uh, watch window, which is 2017, is a major, major anniversary. So we're in two years of a lot of work to do. If we get raptured tomorrow, work's done. If we don't, we still got two years that are very, very major, and I would be evangelizing, dropping flyers, inviting people to church, doing as much as we possibly can. Amen? So watchers, get ready. When these things begin to come to pass, look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draws near. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy. Hang on. What's that? Watch therefore and pray always that you may be... Oh, it's, it's not automatic, is it? You may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. So if you're not worthy, you don't escape. So is there an escape? Apparently there is. I don't know what the dispute is. He says if you're worthy, and worthy means you've been praying and watching, guess what? God has an escape. Why is that such a big debate? There is an escape. And what does that mean, escape? And to stand before the Son of Man. It's not just, oh, I don't want to suffer persecution. Persecution is all the time. Christians always get persecuted. But I get to stand in front of the Son of Man instead of go through, you know, police check and surveillance and the Antichrist passes draconian laws and, you know, going to church becomes outlawed because you preach against homosexuality and that's against the law. That's coming. So watch, therefore, and pray always. So pray tonight. Pray tomorrow. And if I don't see you next week, <laughs> I preach a pretty good sermon. <laughs> I hope Jesus is happy.